Electro Couture with the Dimension Ali. So hi, so who hi. are you? I'm Amin Torabi, so I am from the Dimension Alley and I am from the company called Sharebot. What is Dimension Alley and Sharebot? So Dimension Alley is a service provider of, uh, we provide services, design services, product concepting, prototyping and everything. This is so, a 3D printed? This is a 3D printed for a fashion uh, show that was in uh, in states uh, the south southwest and that was printed in collaboration with our company and we printed we designed it we printed and then uh, our part of the company then took it from the there's a lot of uh, parts here, right? Uh, but yes. they, they are st etched together, or how does it work? They're, they're each, each, each square printed separately, and then they uh, put together. We made the design of it so that you can put it together so very easily. And the top part is a flexible material. Here you have rigid material and so on. Did you print this with one of those machines? So this one uh, has been printed with a, a XXL, the big machine. So this one is for sale? This is for sale, and you can buy... Uh, so it's, uh, it's for sale and it's how much? This is about uh, 4,300 euros. You can buy it uh, before tax. You have to remember that before tax. Okay. And, uh, but we have different machines and uh, doing different things. So for example, this machine is a, a DLP machine. It's a resin-based machine. With the resin, you can uh, achieve very, very, very detailed uh, uh, products. It's meant for dental and it's meant for a uh, uh, jewelry uh, segments. Dental and jewelry? Dental and jewelry. Uh, so, these so do you print uh, teeth? Uh, if in the dental laboratories they use it to uh, to produce the, uh, the the teeth and then they can use it to uh, cast it or remake it or uh, but you don't actually put them in the mouth or anybody no we have for uh, surgeries we print them in a, a material that you can put in the mouth in order for the dentist to know exactly where it's going to make the implant so this is the Sherbot Voyager, Voyager. Yes. how much it cost this is about ten thousand. Ten thousand, and uh, so this one can do re re resin. resin yeah. And you can see some other uh, examples of what you have right here. So, for example, that's oh, why there is the uh, What is this? And I this is, uh, maybe Norma can explain. Yeah, this she's from Dimension Alley. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, this is the Enable project. Um, this is the uh, Raptor Reloaded prosthetic hand for a, a child aged about four, who um, has from an accident or from birth no fingers. And then they can oh, use they can this on their hand, yeah, yeah, and through the hand yeah, movement, yeah, exactly. they can then grab yeah. grab yeah. pieces. Yeah. Is it uh, 3D so printed? Like the um, all these plastic parts are 3D printed. Yeah. These uh, are rubber grips, and the, um, the the straps are not 3D printed. Um, and, and the bolts are not 3D printed. Um, and the really great thing about this project is it's all open source, so anyone can modify and alter the files, improve them, and then the uh, producers, the, the 3D print owners, can be matched up with a child who needs it, and then create the project just for a few, like $20, $30. Is it $20, $30, that's it? Print this would cost about $20. But how long the, does it take to put it together? In Well, about two hours, actually. Two hours? Yeah. The kit itself on top is, I think, $35, the, the, the grips and everything. Um, so there's like how many different parts here? About there's 40. Of, 40? About 40. And some yeah. string? So the strings, the tensioners, um, but to, to put it together, if you have the kid in front of you, it took our engineer about two hours to put it together the first time, two to two and a half hours. How reliable, uh, how durable is this design? Um, Do you want to get to some kind of like mass production or something? This is not our project, this is the Enable project. Okay. And the idea is to match up those who need a prosthetic and don't have the money for it with those who can make it. So it's not a mass production idea, but it's um, it's uh, like an individual customizable yeah. item. That There's not that many people that need that, maybe. Um, it depends on the country. Some countries' insurances pay for it. Um, in other countries, the insurance won't pay. So in that case, yeah, could be really. Let's see some of the other demos you have here. Yeah. So this is showing off the. This is just just we just printed for people to. 
take with us uh, memory. How long time does it take to print one of those? Uh, we paid uh, we for 10 of them in a board. It takes about an hour. All right. And what is the materials? This is a PLA material. It's a biodegradable material and it's made of cornstarch. But you can have different materials. You have ABS, you have many different materials. That you can are, are you based in where? We are based in uh, Berlin. Berlin. Berlin so you're the best uh, Berlin 3D printing company? <laughs> Who's the other ones? Oh, there are other ones. Uh, oh, in, Be in Berlin there are a lot of fab labs and stuff like that, maker spaces, and people are really uh, interested in this kind of uh, making and uh, doing yourselves. So. Right. Our, our services are professional automotive services. So yeah. we offer to the companies. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like that. And the Eiffel Towers. And, and uh, what is this? Yeah. This is a project we made it for a exhibition. St. Paul's, a customer, Battersea Power Station, Flamsteed House, Greenwich. This is a relatively stark generalized fashion show from a month ago. And then we basically made the, the prototype and then we made them the, the, the product. And product uh, in collaboration with a watchmaker and uh, made it uh, with a metal uh, material. And metal? Uh, metal combined polymer metal. So that was for the fashion show. That's uh, the first And uh, what is uh, so? Do you have some uh, nice uh, uh, labs or working places? Uh, yeah, we have. Yeah, we have in Berlin. Our offices in Berlin. We have lots of three D printers. And we have. Yeah, we have five, six, seven, yeah. more, more. We have many printers. Yeah. <laughs> and how many uh, people there? Uh, we are. We had a couple of designers and then a couple of technicians and then we have a. Uh, a service that we are also retailing machines so we're giving uh, teaching people how to to use machines and how to what is the 3d printing about so we have also training people so yeah we're about five six people